welcome to Anushka TV. Now, five days ago, we know five billionaires went missing as they were on a mission to explore the Titanic ship that got sunk in 1912. These five billionaires were in a Titan submarine. Till now, the world hasn't come to the truth that whether the submarine sank or whether the submarine explo in, it imploded or what happened to uh, the submarine. Because after the submarine had just gone 3,500 That's the moment meters. when the Titan submarine lost its signal. Until now, the world hasn't come to the to know what's, what went wrong in there. Let's One question keeps arising. What happened? What you know about the catastrophic event is that uh, the U.S. authorities say a debris field located in the North Atlantic lead to a conclusion that Ocean's Gate Titan's submersible spurred a catastrophic implosion. A catastrophic implosion, this is a violent collapse inwards. This catastrophic implosion instantly killed all the five passengers on board. This was a statement issued by the uh, US authorities. On, on on June 19th, the U.S. Navy says it detected it detected sounds consistently with an implosion shortly after the sub lost contact on Sunday. During a descent to the Titanic wreck at 300 at 3,800 meters. It's about 12,467 feet below the sea level. But this implosion was only made public on Thursday. The loss of the deep water vessel finally confirmed after a huge search mission in the area of Canada's Newfoundland province. Then this take us to the next level to conclude that what may have caused the event or what may have caused the implosion. The Titan's hull is believed to have collapsed on Sunday as a result of enorm enormous water pressure. The sub was built to withstand such pressures and expert will now be trying to determine what exactly went wrong. Analysis of the debris may help to establish this. The Titan is believed to have been 3,500 3, meters below the sea level when the contact was lost. The vessel was so deep that the amount of water on it would have been equivalent to the weight of the if would have been equivalent to the weight of the Times Tower in Nairobi. Tens of thousands of tons. Mm -hmm. If there were a rupture, if there were a rupture to the structure, the pressure outside will be much greater than the one inside the hull compressing the vessel instantly. Then this occurs another to another level like what ha what, what happens in an implosion? Wow. When a submarine hull collapses, it moves inwards at about one at, at about speed of 1500 meters per hour. This is about 2,414 kilometers per hour. That's 2,200 
feet which, which is again about 671 meters per second these statements are issued by uh, Dave Colley, a former U.S. A former US relies on batteries to power Marine communications, officer. and a failure could explain the seabed. why it lost contact. It is not known with the exactly surface. what caused the accident, but they also but it power the engines, the lights, and the heating. A catastrophic failure would have left the sub dead in the water, in complete darkness, and in freezing temperatures. What is implosion? In a, what, is, what happens in an implosion when a submarine collapses? It moves inwards at about a speed of 1,500 meters per hour, which is equivalent to 2,414 kilometers per hour. That's equivalent again to 2,200 feet, same to 671 meters per second. This research was done by Dave Coley, a former U.S. nuclear submarine officer. The time required to complete collapse is about one millisecond or one thousandth of a second. A human brain remains instinctual to a stimulus at about 25 milliseconds, says Mr. Coley. Human, human rational response from, a sensing, from sensing to acting is believed to be at the best 150 milliseconds. The air inside a submarine has, fairly, has a fairly high concentration of hydrocarbon vapors. When the hull collapses, the air auto ignites an explosion follows the initially rapid implosion. Mr. Coley says, Human incinerates and turned into ashes and dust instantly. Human bodies incinerates and turns into ash and dust instantly. How an investigation is likely to proceed. Any investigation to any investigation is sure to focus on the carbon fiber mid section of the Titanic sub. How can the pressure of the dev the pressure of the vessel of the pressure of the devil of deep vehicle is likely the pressure of the devil ah oh shit no the pressure of the vessels of the deep vehicles like these are like are normally constructed from the robust metal such as titanium and are shaped in a sphere to spread the immense pressure equally around the passenger in the compartment. But to fit more people inside, the oceans get sub adopted a cylindrical shape with a carbon fiber tube inserted between inserted between two titanium and with a carbon fiber tube inserted between two titanium end caps. Carbon fiber is very tough. They use it to build airplanes, wings, and racing cars. But did that immense pressure at the at depth more than three times? Hmm. But did that immense pressure at the depth more than three thousand, more than three hundred times the the atmosphere? at the surface play on the material to explore flows in the original fabrication or to introduce the to introduce and 
person with disabilities over reported lives. Any investigation we want to know about the practice of about the practice and destructive testing. Aircraft Their material are not developing tracks on that aircraft are subjected to regular very fine scale inspection to ensure their material are not developing tracks or that their layers are not starting to spread. Photographing the titan debris found on the ocean and bringing them back to the surface for study in a for, in a for Photographing the titan debris found on the floor and bringing them back to the surface. Photographing the titan debris on the floor and bringing them back to the surface for study in a Forensic lab may allow engineers to identify whether 